Now we'll see how to multiply the numbers which are nearer to the base 1000. First above the base. Suppose 1003 into 1004. This is plus 3 and this is plus 4. First of all multiply the excess numbers 3 4 is a 12. But the right side you tell me this time how many digits should be there in my right side part of the answer. The base which we are taking is 1000. How many zeros are there? 3 zeros. So my right side part of the answer should consist of how many digits? 3 digits. But there are only 2 digits. So what I need to do? Add 0 before the number. Remember you should not add 0 after the number. You have to add before the number so that the value does it, should not change. Now it is 0, 1, 2. Now cross addition. Either of the ways you are going to get the same answer that is 1007. So my answer is 1007012. One more example. Suppose 1004 into 1056. I want to multiply. This is plus 4 and this is plus 56. Now what is 56 into 4? You need to multiply these two. So 224. 224 is on the right side part of the answer that is 4 into 56 are the same number of days yes three days are there yes we got the three digits so there is no problem with the right side part of the answer now cross addition 104 plus 56 1056 plus 4 both are going to get the same answer how much it is 1060 so my answer is 1060 double to 4 now we will see in the same way the case 2 that is below the base below the base let us take the examples 996 into 998 so this is minus 4 and this is minus 2 4 to the 8 minus into minus anyway plus but how many days should be there 3 digits so add two more zeros before the number so that there is no problem with the right side part now what is the left side part do either of the ways cross subtraction 996 minus 2 or 998 minus 4 both will give the same answer how much 994 so 994008 similarly one more example 998 into 9 uh, say 964 this is minus 2 and this is minus 36 multiply these two so minus into minus plus 36 to the 70 a 72 but 0 72 why because there should be 3 d's should be 2 d 3 d's on the right side part okay now 998 minus 36 or 964 minus 2 whichever you feel easy do that one why because both are going to get the same answer so how much 962 so my answer is 962 0 7 2 one more example we will see suppose 994 into 932 this is minus 6 and this is 68 so 6 into 68 both we need to multiply how much 360 plus 48 408 so it is 408 so 932 minus 6 is how much 926 so my answer is 926408 no problem with this one one more example 996 into say uh, some 889 so this is minus 4 and this is minus 1 1 1 triple 1 so multiply both the ways minus two uh, so triple four no problem so 889 minus 4 how much 885 so not only this, you can do this one we can also do this one 996 minus triple one also you are going to get the same 885 so my answer is double eight five triple four like this you can calculate any two numbers which are below the base when you are taking the base as thousand now we will see one above the base as well as one below the base of thousand now the case one above and one below base that means how to multiply two numbers which are one above the base and which are one below the base now let us take some 1004 into 
986 I want to multiply this is a plus 4 and this is minus 14 plus into minus anyway will give minus 14 for the 56 but it is 0 5 6 okay why because the right side partial consists of three digits now put a bar here cross addition or cross subtraction both will give the same answer 986 plus 4 is 990 now what is the answer here ah this time you tell me how to go for the next step how to get the final answer there is a minus here so first of all left side part should uh, should be reduced by one since there is a minus symbol it will become 989 now to get the right side part of the answer apply all from 9 last from 10 to this one all from 9 last from 10 to this number to get the right side part so it is 944 so my answer is 989944 one more example suppose let us take some 1037 into 9 uh, let us take 983 so how much it is plus 37 and how much it is minus 17 plus 37 minus 17 you need to multiply both 17 into 37 how will you multiply you can calculate in the mind so 510 plus 119 510 plus 119 how much will you get it is uh, 629 629 minus 629 you are going to get anyhow next cross addition or cross subtraction 983 plus 37 or 1037 minus 17 so it is 1020 yes or no so 1020 how much you are going to get now we'll see one more example in this case that is 983 into 1037 so it is minus 17 here it is plus 37 first of all you need to multiply these two so 17 into 37 you should be able to calculate in the mind so 17 3 is a 51 take it as 5 10 now 17 7 is a 119 so 510 plus 119 510 plus 119 is how much 629 so write down here minus 629 now put a bar here so 1 1037 minus 17 or 983 plus 37 both will get the same answer how much it is 1020 how to balance this one since there is a negative one negative in the balance the left side part should be reduced by one and the right side part you have to apply all from 9 last from 10 how much will you get 3 7 1 so my answer is 1 0 1 9 3 7 1 like this you can calculate okay the numbers which are closer to base 1000 even one above the base or one below the base both the numbers above the base are both the numbers below the base okay now now we'll see randomly some examples either the base thousand or base uh, hundred or base ten thousand base one lakh whatever it may be now let us see some random examples so that you can understand the concept very clearly let us take some examples say it's nine 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 eight into nine 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 three it is minus two it is minus c now you just tell me the answer simply within a single line so first of all two sevens are 14 how many zeros plus into minus into minus plus anyway plus so what is the base we are taking here 10,000 how many zeros four zeros right so two more zeros should be here so that the right side part is having four digits now cross subtraction anyway we'll give the same answer 9991 this will be directly you can write this much big uh, numbers we are going to get within a single line one more example 98 uh, say some yeah 9998 3 into 999 say some uh, 9 4 so how much it is minus 17 and it is minus 6 so 17 6 uh, how much 1 or 2 anyway minus to minus plus but it is 0 1 0 2 now how much nine triple nine eight three minus six so triple nine how much seventy seven so the answer is triple nine double seven zero one zero two like this we can within a single line 
even the about uh, the number above the base also let us take some uh, 10004 into some 1000 uh, say some 8 i want to multiply these two numbers it is plus 4 and plus 8 okay now you tell me what will be the answer 4 is a 32 but the right side part should consist of how many digits what is the base we are going to take here 1 lakh how many numbers how many digits how many zeros five zeros so the right side part should consist of five digits only 32 we got so three zero should be placed before now cross addition how much you are going to get one zero 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 so sorry how much it is one zero 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 one two this will be your answer okay so like this we can calculate such big numbers also which are nearer to the base now we'll see some more type of uh, multiplications in our vedic maths now we'll see one more technique in our vedic maths which is helpful for the students who are not good at 12 to 19 tables suppose if you want to multiply any number or any given number with a number which is between from 12 to 19 tables if you are not feeling comfort for those kind of students this technique will be very helpful now let us take one example suppose 5 3 4 6 into 12 i want to multiply 5 3 4 6 into 12 just ignore this one ignore this one now put that one here start multiplying with 2 start multiplying with 2 but in a different manner how first first multiplying 2 6 are 12 as it is so what is 2 6 are 12 drop 2 carry 1 to the next number now what is 2 4 are 2 4 are 8 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 9 now after adding the carry we got 9 to that 9 add the right side digit right side immediate digit so 9 plus 6 how much 15 so drop 1 here and carry 5 here now similarly 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 1 7 7 to that 7 add immediately right digit 7 plus 4 11 so drop 1 here and 1 here right similarly 2 5 is a 10 10 plus 1 11 11 plus immediate right digit 3 11 plus 3 14 so carry 1 here drop 4 here now what is the last step of our answer is just drop the leftmost part of the or leftmost digit of the number as it is drop the leftmost digit of the number as it is but before dropping check whether is there any carry or not yes there is a carry if it is carry is there add the carry and then drop it as it is so 5 plus 1 6 so my answer is 6 4 1 5 2 let us take one more example suppose if i want to multiply 3 4 2 3 4 into 12 okay this time we will take 13 okay since the 3 which is on the right side of 1 which is on the right side of the 1 okay that's why we are going every time we are adding the right side digits immediately after multiplying the numbers and adding the carries remember once again why i'm going to multiply why i'm going to adding every time the right side digit means since the main number okay which is on the right side of the one that's why we are multiplying every time the right side digit okay now just drop this one three as it is now start multiplying with three what is three fours 12 so simply carry one drop two you can ask me sir why why don't you add the, the right side digit here there is no right side digit that's why i'm simply adding uh, that's why i'm simply multiplying and putting the carry like that there is no right side here right right side digit there is no right side digit now continue the next three three is a nine nine plus one carry ten ten plus right side digit ten plus four fourteen so carry one drop four now what is three two is a six six plus one seven seven plus right side digit 10 so one draw one carry zero draw 
now 3 fours are 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus right side digit 2 15 draw Car draw 5 carry 1 now 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 10 10 plus right side digit 10 plus 4 14 so carry 1 draw 4 now what is the last step even after multiplying the last with the last digit what is the last step drop the leftmost digit as it is now I have to drop 3 as it is but before dropping check whether there is there any carry yes there is a carry so carry is how much 1 add 3 to 1 4 after adding the carry now you drop if there is no carry you can drop the leftmost digit as it is one more example 7 2 3 4 into 18 I want to multiply for 7 2 3 4 okay let us take some 6 7 2 3 4 into 18 now simply ignore one start doing 8 4 I am simply no I am not writing any symbolics like this I am going to write directly the answer by saying what is 8 4 is a 32 drop to carry 3 now what is the next step 8 3 is a 24 plus 3 27 immediately right side digit 27 plus 4 31 so draw okay drop 1 carry 3 now what is 8 2 is a 16 16 plus carry 3 19 19 plus right side digit 22 so drop to carry 2 8 7 is a 56 56 plus 2 58 58 plus right side digit 60 so drop 0 carry 6 now 8 6 is a 48 48 plus 6 54 54 plus right side digit 71 sorry 61 61 so drop 1 carry 6 now what is the last digit last step simply drop 6 as it is but before dropping 6 carry is there how much 6 so 6 plus 6 is 12 so right here 12 so the answer is 1 2 1 0 2 1 2 one more example let us take 3 0 2 0 1 into some 12 so leave 1 now 2 1s are 2 no carry 2 0s are 0 but right side digit you need to add 2 0s are 0 right side digit is how much 1 0 plus 1 1 so 2 2s are 4 4 plus right side digit 4 only 2 0s are 0 0 plus right side digit 2 just drop 2 2 3s are 6 6 plus right side digit just drop 6 as it is now what is the last step drop the leftmost digit as it is but before dropping is there any carry no this time there is no carry so simply drop 3 as it is this will be your answer got it one more example let us take some 7 8 9 6 7 into 19 7 8 9 6 7 into 19 this time we will do little fast okay please just concentrate leave the one 9 7 are 63 9 6 are 54 plus 6 60 60 plus right side digit 60 plus 7 67 drop 6 carry 7 9 9 are 81 81 plus 6 87 87 plus right side digit 87 plus right side digit how much 6 93 so 9 here 3 here now 9 is a 72 72 plus 9 72 plus 9 81 81 plus right side digit so once again 9 7 is a 63 so 9 is a 72 72 plus 9 81 81 plus right side digit 9 81 plus 9 90 so 9 here 0 here now 9 7 is a 63 63 plus 9 72 72 plus 8 72 plus 8 80 so drop 0 carry 8 so what is the last step drop 7 as it is why because it is the leftmost digit but before dropping is there any carry yes so what is 8 plus 7 15 so my answer is 15003733 so like this we can calculate or we can multiply any given number into the numbers which are 12 to 19 or the multiplication tables from 12 to 19 no need of knowing the tables if you follow this method and you can get the answer as easy as possible right so now we are going to see the one more technique in our Vedic mass which is very very easy technique okay now we'll see another part in the base method that is sub base method sub base method 
So how can you can uh, use this sub base method? For example, let us take some 43 into say 47. I want to multiply 43 into 47. Now it is very important which one you are going to take that and base. Here I can do one thing. For these two numbers, I can take two bases. One is 50, one is base 50 and base 40. I can take two bases. Okay. Either of the base you can take, either you can take base 40 or base 50, it doesn't matter. You are going to get the same answers. Now let us try with both the bases first. Now I will try first with 40 as base. Base 40. Okay. If I take base 40, so it is 3 more than the base and it is 7 more than the base. Yes or no? Now, see here. First you need to multiply these two. 3 7 are 21. 21 but I am going to put 1 here and 2 will be the carry. Why? Because in 40 base there is only 1 0. So the right side part should consist of only 1 digit and the remaining will be carried to the next part of the answer. Now cross addition or cross multiplication, cross addition or cross subtraction. Here there is place in both the numbers. So it is cross addition only. 43 plus 7 or 47 plus 3. Both are same. How much? 50. Yes or no? Now, for 50, what you need to do for this 50, you need to multiply the number, okay, which is in the tens place of the base, which is in the tens place of the base. So, what is the number which is in the tens place of the base? Okay, 4. So, this is the multiplication factor. This is the multiplying factor. So, 4 is the multiplying factor. Now, you, what you need to do? What is 4 into 50? 200. Yes or no? 200. Okay, 1 here, 2 will be the carry. Now, what is 200 plus 2? 202 and 1 as it is. So, your answer is 202, 1. One more example. Okay, the same thing will go with the base 50 this time. If I take base as 50 for, for 43 into 47, it is minus 7 and it is minus 3. So anyway, minus into minus plus 7 into 3, 21. But 1 will be the dropping and 2 will be the carried. Now, either 43 minus 3 or 47 minus 7. Both are same. How much? 40. Yes, 40. But for that 40, here what is the multiplication factor? See, here we are taking base as 50, remember. Okay, so the multiplying factor will be in the tens place. That is, 40 should be multiplied by 5. 40 into 5 is 200, 1 and 2 carried. So, 200 plus 2 is 202 and 1 as it is. So, my answer is 2021. If you observe, in both the ways, the answer will be same. That means, you can multiply uh, two numbers which are very near to each other. Okay, with the help of this method. For example, we'll take one more example here. Let us take some 87 into 89. Now I can take the base as 9. Yes, they are closer to 90. So they are, I can take the base as 90. So it is minus 3, it is minus 1. 3 into 1, 3. No problem. 87 minus 1 or 89 minus 3. Both are same. How much? 86. But for that 86, we need to multiply with the multiplication factor 9. Okay, so 83, 80. How much it is? 86. 86 into 9 we need to multiply. So 3 will be dropped as it is. 90, uh, 86 into 9 is how much? 720 plus 54. 774. So answer is 7743. So like this we can calculate. Okay. The numbers which are very nearer to each other. You may think why can't we take 80 base here? Of course here we are taking the base as 50. Sorry base as 90. We can take base as 80 also. If it is 80, we are going to write plus 7 and plus 9. Like that we can go. Right? So, uh, like this you can calculate the two numbers which are very near to the base. Okay, with the help of sub base. This is what? Sub base method. This is sub base. Actually, this is not the main base. Main base will be in the form of 10 power n as we already discussed. But sub base will be, can it be any number? Uh, better to take it as 40, 50 like, like that okay so like this we can calculate two numbers which are nearer to each other 
okay we can take uh, not only double digit even we can go uh, extend this method to the triple digit four digit also okay fine uh, now we will see one more uh, type of multiplications okay how we can easily calculate up to 100 or 1000 tables in the mind okay in the next day technique